Be player to match you with my first chaotic video. A real video for anyone who doesn't fully understand the rules of chaotic. So, these are a bunch of my cards. Um, a fire, water, wisdom. Uh, so again, I'll perform power five, and then just your fire, so you're probably gonna go first. I love Nender, he's amazing. Um, I'm gonna call this my Desert Raiders deck. Ultra Rare Headmaster and Kaija. Ooh, this is brand, once again. Maybe my favorite pull today. Elements off. This is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, coming at you with another match on Trade Cards Online. What is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, and what I have is 288 packs. The Secrets of Velocity Alliance is unraveled. What is up, YouTube? Speed Pillar A here. Another match versus Afjack on Trade Cards Online. And this was a very excellent max, uh, match. I got to test out my new Overworld deck, Captain of the Elements, a variant of a deck I made earlier on. And I'll link to that video. That was over a year ago. And then a new deck Afjack made, which I think you guys will really like. Because it's got a really cool combo of creatures that you don't see together. So, we've got Grant Kai, the Mepedian General, Elna, Lord Van Blute, Sir Navani, Loma Desert Wanderer, and Katharaz. So, he gets the first attack. The location is Gothos Tower. And so, he's taking Lord Van Blute into Gronmore. Now, he later regrets this move because right now, Gronmore has the highest courage. Because he has support all disciplines 20, so he's getting 20 plus to all stats. And then he has Citadel Fragments, so an additional 15. So his Courage goes to 105, but then Gothos Tower makes it minus 10, so he's at 95 Courage. We tie for speed, so Van Blue goes first, and he gets Invisibility Strike 15, since it's Gothos Tower. Shadow Strike is 25, and I play Rhyme the Reckless off Captain Arthoa. Uh, and so my deck is based off of Arthoa, so stat checks. And then there's some fire water attacks and two mineral mayhem. Uh, I've got a primal smash, the elemental oxidation you see there, uh, purifying mud, and mega roar for the big attack or super cool brain. But it's um, less build points, so it's a bit easier. So Van Blute has the sinister statuette. And so Grant Kai is giving Van Blute 25 total disciplines. Um, I lose 10 energy. Did I do the 10? Ooh. I don't think I did this in energy. Whoops. Um, yeah, that's what I really miss about the old site. You just so you don't forget or anything, because it just every, does everything for you. So we're duking it out here pretty good. I play the elements of oxidation on a sinister statuette. He's using the statuette since he doesn't have the sickle. Uh, yeah, and Grand Kai also gives you waterproof 25. So he plays Aegis Area on my force balls because it would code him. And then I play Meditative Leap for 10, 2 Code Cernoni, and then I drop Fluid Flame. Um, and also, if you guys didn't watch one of my earlier videos, um, I just made a video because there's a petition to bring back Chaotic Online. Um, I'll link to that video as well in here, so you should see an annotation popping up. Um, so you just go to that site, and then you type in a name, any name you want, it doesn't have to be a real name. Uh, and just a valid email address. You can add your comments and you click sign. And yeah, I think we're at about 500 signatures now, so we're hoping to get to 2,000. Anyways, back to this match. So, Kiru City, I sack Rollin with a Bimo Recycle. And Dalgad with Zerium Armor is going into his Loma to wander with the Citadel Lodestone. We both have Lomas. His has a Lodestone, mine has a Sun Chariot. So, anyways, we both get the additional 10 energy. He's at 95 because his Lobon in the back gave him extra energy. And then Kiru City plays Enlightened Tenacity for 20. I played Earth Shape to gain Earth. And then I play Synaptic for 15 damage. And I drop the Flame Breach. Um, so you can see his Mugics are, as we're duking it out here, pretty good. Um, Melody of Mirage, he already played Aegis Area, uh, Adaptive Progression, Discord Disarming, Cadence Clash, and Elemental Denial. So, as the name suggests, Leave the Land Dry, this deck is anti-elements, so if you look at the way his deck is set up, Lord Van Blute is the bane of all elemental decks. El Knight is in there for Catharaz, because as soon as Element dies, Catharaz is high of his element proof all element types 15. So that's a potential for up to 60 energy gain. He has Stronghold Morn and two Gardens in the location deck, so for Catharaz and Grinkai's waterproof when you're attacking, uh, Loma's ability can make elemental attacks deal zero, and then Loban can gain you energy. So it's a really complete set of a bunch of elemental type things. 
and then of course the water and earth attacks. Um, so I use this mineral mayhem. We're doing, we're getting pretty low on energy. Uh, since I know his deck is based on courage, as from the attacks I've seen so far, I thought gaining 100 courage would be able to prevent some damage, uh, as opposed to just dealing 15 with the mineral mayhem. But then he just plays marksman, so it didn't make a difference because I was thought he'd get another shadow strike or a daunting bravery. So I just use fluid fugue off of, off of interest to keep Dalgat alive, gain some encounter, and then I play primal smash to code Loma, because Zerium Armor can't stop the 30 damage from Archmans, um, because it's the ability, and it's not like attack damage. Um, alright, yeah, so, Elna has a short of the staunch, you saw Grand Kai and LeBon had Repenny and Belladere's flutes, so he's just down to four creatures. And he's gonna skeletal springs. He's gonna take Elna into Loma. As always, guys, uh, decks links to both decks on trade cards online will be in the description below. You can vote and comment on them there. Anyways, interest has the Sun Chariot of Ken Seth to give her fire, and so this location is really beneficial for me because I get initiative, have water five, and of course my additional energy with Realm put me at seventy, and then purifying mud twenty five, and I gain five. Um, Elna actually should be higher because he's attacking, so uh, he should gain the 25 energy, which he does in a sec. Because, you know, he wants Elna to die, but he still has to do that stuff. Plays Daunting Bravery, 4 or 5 damage, and then he's looking courage. So I'm just going to hold on to that Mega Roar for the next, like, while. So I play Synaptic, and then I have to shuffle, and then I drop Fluid Flame. Because I know my elements are in danger, because he's using the same elements. And then I have my refrain. So you guys saw my magics were, um, let's see, fluid fugue, harmonics of water. I played that when Delgad was facing Loma. Uh, Rhyme of the Reckless. And then I have Song of Elemental Attunement to get all my elements back. Refrain of Denial and Interlude of Interruption. I use the Meditative Belief to pull the counter off Delgad that he got from the fluid fugue back on interest because her ability is extremely useful as always. Play, uh, drop the purifying mud, sorry. So now I've got Mega Roar and the Directed Bravery in my hand. So I'm saving up my bigger attacks, because as soon, I'm hoping I get Lord's Chamber of Recall after I code Elna, because then Catharaz will be weaker, but if not, then Catharaz is gonna gain some serious energy, and I need all the muscle I can to take him down. And play the Mineral Mayhem to code Elna. So now, Hive, and so, as soon as I do that, I'm like, because I have two lures in the location deck, I'm like, come on, LCR, come on, LCR, you'll just see it pop up in the comments there for a sec. And then, I get it. Super lucky there. Uh, so, I have no idea what would have happened in this match if um, it was a different location. Because then, I obviously would not have attacked Catharaz with Gronmoor or Interest, because then he gained 45, so I'd have to attack with Dalgad. Or I, didn't, I wouldn't even have to attack him there, but, you know. To my location, I don't want him having a boost from his location, so I might take out Grant Guy. But it doesn't matter because now I know that he is extremely weak here, and I'm fully able to take him down. So I'm taking Dalgad into the Penny in general to eliminate the support he gives. Because, well, at this point, it's only 25 energy. So, Thermo Rings for 20 damage. Sand is to Deluge of Doom. Flood Force. As you can see, I'm holding on to the Directed Bird Ring Mega Roar. But yeah, there's Thermal Rings. Got two of them in there. Um, so, as you can see, F Jack didn't really play his music, like when Gronmore was fighting Blute. Um, he could have played the Elemental Denial, he could have played the Discord, and that would have been. That would have messed me up seriously, and then he has his Cadence, so. And then, if we went through Mewtwo Battle there, I wouldn't have been able to stop his other Mewtwo's. I don't have that many Elemental Attacks. So the Aegis area works on everything, and then Adaptive Progression only works on Elemental Attacks, so it could be from the Rings or the Purifying Mud. Uh, so I drop the other Synaptic, because uh, I want to hold on to Mega Roar and Directed Bravery. And Grant Kai gets coded, so now it's just down to the two Danians, move Interest over and Gramor over. Put the Mirage down, the Hive Gallery is the location. He uses Loban's ability to give Catharaz Fireproof. Uh, 20, and then his armed bands of war give him 5 energy, so he has 70 energy and 85 courage, and initiative, and he'll perform courage 5. And, but I have, uh, so the Mega Roar is going to do 30, or 40, sorry, 
And then because we're in the Hive Gallery, Direct Bravery does 30, so that's 70 damage right there. Doesn't matter what else I get. And neither of them are elemental, so Adaptive Aggression can't stop them. So 30 there, plays Deluge, and the Daunting Bravery, and Mega Roar for 40 damage. So you guys saw how long I was holding on to that. And so, just down to the low bottom. I really like the way this deck plays. Interest Nature Force is one of my favorite creatures. Um, I, uh, Gron Moor works really well. Works really well here. The stats aren't important, but you know, there some decks do run stats, so it's it's good to gain stats with the fragments, or you can just give them a dozer for that additional five energy. But it still works. And so, for the final bit, I take Interest into Lebon because she'll gain the additional ten energy because of her battle year and the location. Doesn't really matter, he's a simple mandible immuge, and all my guys are well enough equipped to take him down. Um, so if you didn't see in the back, my Captain Rathoa has the Easy Mind Probe. Alright, so this bit is a bit weird, because I just make a couple mistakes here. So it plays Alka Recoil, I play the Additionalist Charge, so I'm just drawing a card to discard it with the, with the Meditative Leap, but then I actually, I thought I was, I just got confused, and I thought I was playing the Mineral Mayhem for 10 damage. So it's, uh, it's that. Yeah. So I would have just dropped the Flame Breach or the Earth Shape and kept the Mineral Mayhem in my hand because he's only at 5. And we're just discussing it because I was like, what? It's my attack. You should be dead. My bad. So, anyways, he plays the Marksman's for 30. Should have discarded one of those cards. Doesn't really matter. Mineral Mayhem's going to cut him, anyways. And Interest Nature Force defeats Slobon. Tries to stop it with the adaptive aggression. I could have played. I played Refrain, Refrain of Denial off Desert Wanderer. I could have played the Interlude. Doesn't matter. Uh, I just wanted to kill the bond. So, thanks, Afjack, for great match as always. Um, guys, please sign the petition. Uh, link to it in this video. I'm Steve Valeri. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.